Movies, TV shows, and other medias aren't perfect when it comes to music. Usually there are minor errors when it comes to syncing up either a pre-recorded or sometimes post-recorded audio. Even in my videos, there are examples of this. Even Mark Papigan. Yeah, I often hear like Papigin, Papigin, but it's actually pronounced Papagan. Used the wrong fingering on the trumpet in one of his videos. So, it's incredibly common to see mouths not lining up with words or instrumentalists not lining up with music. Or very obviously fake playing. What about other potential errors? These include wrong notes, forgetting to actually play the instrument, or even holding the instrument way wrong. So let's take a look at some of these music errors in the media. First up, movies. The new release of Aladdin, and these two mistakes are what inspired this video. During one jump, the word stroll is cut off. I think I'll take a stroll around the block. Another mistake in Aladdin is not so much a music mistake, but a historical one. In Friend Like Me, Will Smith says Scheherazade, he had a thousand tales. Scheherazade had a thousand tales. Scheherazade is a woman who told a thousand tales to prevent her from being executed. More details about this story were covered in my Scheherazade job video. In the originals, Scheherazade had a thousand tales. Scheherazade had a thousand tales. There is an E that gets its own note, I'm not sure why it's not difficult to put the word she into the line. Scheherazade, she had a thousand tales. In Shrek 2, when the fairy godmother sings Holding Out for a Hero, she tells the pianist to put it into C minor. But the pianist actually plays in G minor instead. C minor, put it in C minor. Ladies and gentlemen. In Phantom of the Opera, in the opening song of Don Juan, Carlotta is still singing in the background, but you can see her on screen cut off early. In West Side Story, when singing Tonight, there's someone singing a wrong note. The Jets are gonna have the day tonight. We're gonna have them a surprise tonight. In the Rocky Horror Picture Show, during I Can Make You a Man, when Frank slides his finger down Rocky's chest, you can hear a solitary beep coming out of nowhere, and this is when the synthesizer was accidentally hit during that part of the song, and for whatever reason, they never edited that out. Just a little bit of... In the Lizzie McGuire movie, during the song What Dreams Are Made Of, a different singer pops in at the end for some reason. Either that or it was just a different take that was spliced in, but it, this clearly sounds like two different people. Dreams, in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, we get a good shot of the orchestra, and there's no saxophone in a standard orchestra. Yeah, there are pieces that include saxophone, but when you're doing just a standard orchestra, you really should stick to the standard instrumentation. And this instrument here is kind of interesting. That's a bass recorder. <laughs> and the movie Whiplash, there's a lot of interesting things that are slightly off about the soundtrack, but the one thing that I'll point out here is during this scene, you can hear trumpets have mutes, but on stage, they don't have mutes in. In the movie Dumb and Dumber, when Harry and Lloyd pick up the hitchhikers, they were singing the song Mockingbird, but he's not playing the guitar, but we can definitely hear it. Mock -sing 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 One of the more famous examples of a big mistake in a movie comes from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. When he plays the tune to get into the factory, Rachmaninoff. Yeah, it's not Rachmaninoff, that's... Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. 
I should also point out that this was an intentional mistake. A lot of the adults make minor errors on random trivia throughout the film. So this was not a filmmaker's mistake, but a character mistake in the movie, but still worthwhile to point out here. Okay, so that's movies. What about pop music? What kind of mistakes can they have? And these really come down to things that just happened in the recording session that they decided not to edit out. Originally, back in like the 50s and 60s, they didn't have the time or money to be able to do it, so they just left it in. But there are some more modern examples that you'd think they would actually, you know, take care of. So here's a few examples. On the song Roxanne, well, somebody sat on the piano right at the beginning. At the end of Megadeth's song Paranoid, the drummer keeps going and he even gets yelled at, but that's in the actual track? In the song Why Can't We Be Friends, there's a wrong note in the piano at the beginning. In Christina Aguilera's song Beautiful, you can hear the drum set used in the backing tracks that was played through the headphones. Don't you bring me down. Mm, Finally, we come down to magazines and stock photos, and you can seriously have a field day going through stock photos. So let's have some fun and let's go through it. Here are flutes being held in the wrong direction and one with the hands in the wrong location. Clarinets can be held with the hands backwards, the fingers in the wrong location, or the mouthpiece upside down. Saxophones can be missing their ligature, missing their ligature with their hands backwards, and hands backwards and missing a mouthpiece entirely and playing it almost as if it was a buzzing brass instrument. Trumpets end up having the hands reverse or puffy cheeks with the left hand in a very weird location. Horns typically just have the right hand in the wrong position because the horn for the most part is pretty intuitive on how to hold it. I'm gonna face palm my face palm. Somebody give me a hand. I'm gonna face palm my face palm my face palm. All right. For trombones, this one, the trombone is on the wrong side of the head and hands are reversed. And tuba, I thought this one was really funny with the hands reversed of where they should be. Though typically I tried to leave off uh, photos of kids because a lot of them hold the instruments way wrong and it's really just for a cute photo. So that's a handful of mistakes that I found in movies, some pop music, and in stock photos. What other music mistakes are out there that you've found? Let me know, maybe I'll make a part two because I really do find all of this very fascinating and a lot of fun. So subscribe to my channel for more fun videos like this one and Horn Ensemble recordings. I will see you all very soon.